Thank you for joining us on this President's Day. A few clouds making their way through the central portion of the Dakotas. Most of these are of the high variety right now. And as far as the radar is concerned, we're not picking up much of anything as far as snow potential goes with this weather maker working its way through. But we do have temperatures that are really plummeting very quickly. Nine below this hour in Langdon, seven below Grand Forks, and we are below zero here in Fargo at one below. Holding on to nine degrees in Wadena and six in Bemidji. Another look at that beautiful shot from the Dakota Magic Casino weather cam down on I-29 and exit one at the South Dakota border. Beautiful evening in place there, at least visually. One below at Fargo Hector. Feels like 11 below. Those winds not really a problem. And they're from the northwest, so that cold air mass from Canada continues to trek its way southward as we head into the evening hours. By the evening at bedtime, many of us will be between 5 and 15 below zero as temperatures fall very quickly. And even though there's not going to be much wind, overnight wind chills will get pretty brutal out there. And in fact, by morning, many of us will see a few more clouds building in and a chance thanks to a switch of the wind direction by morning from northerly to southerly. Temperatures warming from the teens below to near 10 below, not hot, and very wind chilly with wind chills between 20 and 35 below in most locations. Through the first half of your day, we'll see uh, sunshine, temperatures warming thanks to those south winds to warmer than we got all day today across most of the area. And then as we head into the afternoon, a shot at some teens out there with clouds starting to move in from the south. And by tomorrow night, we'll notice those clouds yielding some snowflakes in our southern and southwestern uh, counties. Heading Tuesday night into Wednesday, much more snow is on the way, and I'll have more on that in one moment. Right now, we'll highlight your day in Fargo. Temperatures starting, uh, for many of us, around 10 below to 15 below. Winds out of the south at 5 to 15 miles per hour. We'll see some sunshine. South winds warming temperatures to around 11 for your drive home. Then the increase in clouds, and it will really be into Wednesday morning before this makes its way through. And the potential for snow... Uh, basically throughout the day on Wednesday will be very heavy, eastern South Dakota and southern Minnesota. But our southern and eastern counties here in the dark blue, uh, certainly possible for three to six inches of shovel trouble and many here in the southern valley and western Minnesota getting two to five inches while there will be a lot less up in the Devil's Lake Basin. Here's a fitting photo. Look at this guy. Mid-flight captured near Cormorant. That uh, bluish color J heading uh, toward a meal there. Looks like maybe a T-bone or something in there. I think I'd fly in for a bite too. Here's a look at your forecast. Tuesday night late into Wednesday and through most of the day, a very good chance of snow in our southern counties. Temperatures warm though to around 20 degrees. And we stay kind of stable at that 20 degree level. But because of frequent storms passing through the region out of the central plains and into the northern plains, uh, we're going to have several rounds of snow. Most of these systems might look like they'll impact South Dakota and southern Minnesota more so than the valley. But it's just that nuisance amount of snow. You have to keep shoveling off the driveway. If the trade-off is to get double digit above zero temps, I'll take it. Yes, that's me too. Okay. All right. Thanks.